to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined today by Randall Pinkett, the Chairman and CEO of BCT Partners. Randall, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Abby. Excited to be here and looking forward to the conversation. Fabulous. So let's dive in. From being the first African-American from Rutgers University to become a Rhodes Scholar, to winning season four of The Apprentice and holding a variety of governmental positions, you have had a very unique background. Of your experiences, what inspired you to pursue a career dedicated to creating a more diverse and equitable society? Well, it's, it's something that's been instilled in me since I was young. My, my parents always reinforced this idea of giving back to the community and, and making a difference. And when I arrived at Rutgers uh, to study engineering, my business partners and I, as we embarked upon our entrepreneurial careers, shared that same value. And in some ways we describe ourselves as social entrepreneurs. We're about making a profit and making a difference about that double bottom line of financial returns and social returns. And in as much as we've launched several ventures over the course of our careers, that social entrepreneurial thread has been woven through all these ventures culminating with what is now BCT Partners. There are a number of obstacles that can inhibit efforts to embrace the value of diversity, from an unwillingness to have the conversation at all to misinformed notions as to what diversity means or even looks like. What are some creative ways organizations can overcome those initial hurdles in fostering diversity? It's a great question, Abby. And there's a phrase we often use at BCT, which is meeting people where they are. What we can't do is expect people to be where we desire for them to be. Correct. Because when we begin the, the conversation or the journey from that orientation, we're making assumptions, we are not honoring people's lived experiences. And in some ways, we are assuming that their perspective aligns with our perspective, which is often not the case. So we have to really literally meet people where they are. And if, if they're a naysayer, if they're not on board, if they are a detractor, or if they're a champion, all reasonable places to be, we got to make sure that our messaging and our engagement meets them there. So to the naysayer, I begin by saying, we need your voice to be involved in these efforts and that it can benefit you and can benefit the organization. To the champion, I say to them, we're going to really lean in heavily on this agenda and your energies will allow us to accelerate and to amplify the work that we're doing. But those are two very different messages for two very different audiences. And so once we acknowledge where people are, we can then challenge them. I often say that we can't convince people of anything, but we can challenge them in a healthy way to speak to their head, their heart, and their hands. To the head, we make the business case and the personal case. Why should it matter to you? Why should it matter to your organization? To the heart, we give them an experience that allows them to have empathy for others. And to the hands, we answer the proverbial question we always get. So what do I do? When considering what a more diverse and equitable society looks like, there's often a focus on what the business community can do today to create tangible change. What are some of the creative out-of-the-box policies or initiatives that businesses can implement to help achieve that goal of a more equitable society? So I believe we're at the precipice of how innovation can intersect with diversity, equity, and inclusion. I mean, we mentioned earlier that our, our mission at BCT is to provide insights about diverse people that lead to equity. And those insights or our ability to glean insights is just ripe with opportunity. So for example, I believe we have not fully explored what we can do in analyzing data and, and applying techniques like machine learning or artificial intelligence to really understand what is working for whom mm -hmm. down to a very granular level. At BCT, we've been embracing virtual reality as a tool to give people an immersive experience that allows them to see the world through somebody else's eyes. In fact, the solution is called Through My Eyes where you can assume the identity of someone, see the world the way that they see it, 
channel their inner voice and their inner, inner thoughts to embody what is their experience that's different than your experience as a way of fostering human understanding and empathy. And then finally, I think technology and traditional research and assessment tools are becoming more and more powerful to enable us to know what are our biases? Where do our preferences lie? Where do I sit on a continuum of building my own cultural competence and ability to navigate differences that when I combine the picture I'm painting for you, Abby, together, I'm painting a picture of kind of this hyper-personalization of DEI that gives you granular insights to where you are, gives you deeper insights to what you should do, and then paints a picture of what you can accomplish by leveraging the tools that are at our disposal. And I think that is an area where there's plenty of opportunity for DEI to transform people and transform organizations. Absolutely. This season of Invest Insights is all about creativity. So how would you define creativity and what does that look like for BCT partners and DEI moving forward? So I define creativity as a clever or, or inventive approach to what you do. It's, it's that simple. And I see a very close interrelationship between creativity and innovation innovation being defined as the introduction of something new. And so for us, we are continuously challenging ourselves at, at BCT to push the envelope on creativity and innovation. And I would argue that diversity, equity, and inclusion is an area where the possibilities are truly endless because we're talking about one definition of diversity, which is the range of human differences. So to the extent that there are an infinite number of human differences, there's an infinite number of ways we can tap into, harness, and leverage those differences. And when we look at technology, data, analytics, virtual reality, machine learning, artificial intelligence, natural language processing, there are all these advanced tools at our disposal that give us the ability to understand ourselves and understand each other in very sophisticated ways. And at the end of the day, diversity, equity, and inclusion is about understanding difference, navigating difference, and harnessing difference. So creativity and innovation give us a myriad of ways that we can do exactly that. And I believe that the opportunities to do so are only gonna to continue to grow moving forward. Fabulous. Well, it's always wonderful to meet another Rutgers alum. I also went to Rutgers University. Fantastic. Uh, go Scarlet and Lady Knights. <laughs> exactly, Scarlet and Lady Knights. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Randall. That was Randall Pinkett, Chairman and CEO of BCT Partners. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to hear more CEOs and thought leaders share their opinions and advice on the current business climate. Until next time, I'm Abby Maloney, and this has been Invest Insights. Thank you for tuning in.